Good morning. How are y'all doing? So I know you see me sit on this couch day in, day out, talking about doing the work. So I do the work. However, I also give myself grace. So if I fuck up, because I do, that it's okay. Because life is about doing the work and grace. I can only do so much. My brain bandwidth, <laughs> it has a capacity where it's like <sighs> maxed out. So I have been journaling on and off for years. I've been following Tim Ferriss, wow, since 2007, I think, when he wrote The 4-Hour Workweek. And he's still one of the guys I watch and listen to a lot of his stuff. And he always talks about journaling. And then Matthew McConaughey came out with a book, Green Light, and he talks about how he journals and keeps them and then goes back. And he was able to figure out what happened when he had good days and how that helped him reach higher levels of productivity. And using his journals, he was able to tweak himself at a much deeper level. And I have to say that really was like, okay, okay, let's start taking this more serious. And then I have a friend who is a coach and she's like, girl, you got a journal. I'm like, ah, why? Well, here's why. When you put that pen to paper and you just start writing, and my God, I agree. There are days like, what, the, what do I write? What do I put in here? <clears throat> well, the sun is shining. It is a beautiful day. I love my sun. <laughs> my house is dirty. <laughs> I just started writing. And every day, not every day, but a lot. I'd say two, minimum two, maybe five times a week, depending I would just start writing and it's getting easier and easier and easier. And what's happening is I'm starting to tap into a deeper subconscious. <clears throat> um, I read this post by this guy all about sex and why we do it and what comes of it and his feedback on the entire process. And it was so interesting to read and I just sat down and started writing. And before you know it, I had two entire pages full about past relationships and about past connections and how I feel about this. It's like, oh, where did that come from? Wow. So this is the journal I started November 20th, November of 2020. And guess what? Whoops. Folks, it is the first time I will have a book that's full. And I'm proud of myself. I am. And I actually save all my journals, even though they're a mod podge of notes and all sorts of stuff and journals. I have about 10, 10 of these floating around. Well, actually, no, they're in, they're in a cupboard. <laughs> um, I even have one that I started when I met my baby's son. Or, or, I can't talk. When I met my ex-husband, we met and I went and bought us journals. And we sat down and did a bunch of journaling exercises. And I have that book. And just reading it and reading the hope that I had written down and what I had projected and what I wanted and what I was dreaming about. It's a beautiful thing. So now sitting down and about to wrap this book up and call it a day and start another one. I have to say I'm now on board when it comes to journaling because I am starting to tap into a deeper part of my subconscious and it's starting to come out and it, it's giving me more stuff to work on for myself to do deeper work because I need to do the deeper work in order to reach, to reach higher levels of where I want to go. <clears throat> now just a little bit about what I do in here since it's okay. How do you fill up a whole book? Well, I put the name on it. Well, the date, which is the name, right? Um, and then I've started, I came across uh, Sark, a lady I've been reading her stuff. And she talks about how she writes about why she values herself. And so I use four pages. And on the first page, I put, I value myself. So, so here we go. Ah. So I value myself for my determination and my dedication. I value myself for what I've got done today. I value myself and how I was good, a good mom today. Oh, a big one. And even if I only put I value myself, 
but I try to put things down that I value myself for. And I really try to go deep and put something different. So I was a good mom today. That's important. I'm working very hard on my mom skills. I want to be the best, funnest, most inspiring mother I can. But I also ain't going to take no BS. <laughs> my kid knows he better obey. And then I write two pages front and back of anything. doesn't matter. It's either 10 minutes or two pages, whatever I get done first. And then on the third, the fourth page, I'm following what I've been doing by the mad, the book, the magic. So I am grateful. Um, I did the magic. My mentor, Donna, uh, recommended the magic book and oh my God, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's 28 days of exercise where you write down different things you're grateful for. And it really guides you through the process of how it all works. And using that book, I was able to really tap into different parameters of being grateful and why and how. And it has you do, um, I'm great. And you, you write a letter for yourself or I'm grateful for my health. Or I, I took a $5 bill and I put, I'm grateful for money. And that's still on my computer. And then I wrote a check to myself. I wanted to get a new phone. And, um, as you know, phones are 800 bucks. And I wrote down a date for my phone. And guess what? I got a new phone before that date. I need to go write another check for myself for a few other things. Um, but The Magic is a book I highly, 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 highly recommend. You can get it on PDF on the internet. And do the exercises. Go deep. That's how we expand and learn and grow is by doing the work. Um, so those are the, that's the layout that I've come up with and that I'm enjoying. I had a friend say, well, I've got to go buy a journaling book. Hello, Dollar Tree, one dollar. That's all. You're not, if you don't do it on a dollar book, you're not going to do it on a $20 book or a $50 book. That's my opinion. Do it on the cheap stuff. And if you want to start upgrading into a nicer book, go for it. But I can't tell you how many times I've ran across journaling books that are empty, sitting there. So whatever you need to do to start doing it, if you want to start learning about your deeper self, I highly recommend journaling. Journaling. All right. Well, that's all for today. Miss Scooby's all tucked in. She went to the dog park today and got to run. There was this new dog there and they were playing. This dog's dirty. I, yep. Look at my hands getting dirty right there. And she sleeps in my bed. This morning I woke up. Would you believe her head was on a pillow? She's all head on the pillow, laying in the bed, happy as can be. She's wormed her way into my heart. Darn dog. Now I have to get into my bed and wipe the sand off. Mom and dog life. Ha, huh, what to do? All right, have a fantastic day. Love all of you. Good to see you on here. Take care of yourselves. Bye.